Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo, for being here. Thank you, Estela. We are about to finish, um, well, to start the class, not to finish it, right? So uh, we are going to wait just a little bit for the rest of the class. Um, but first, I would like to know if you have any questions about the platform. Have you finished the platform already? ¿Ya la, ter ya la terminaron, la plataforma? Me, yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Good evening, Rafael. Have you finished the platform already? Do you have any questions? Thank you, teacher. I am okay. Uh, yes, the first, I, I don't, I don't, I can't do it. The first one from the final exam? Or the section five? La, la que estaba mostrando la primera. Ah, oh, okay. Let me see here. So this is the listening. And this is the mistakes, right? Correct the mistakes. The... First section B, the first section B, part one instructions correct the mistake in each sentence. Number or... one, number one. Okay, do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? This one is do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Yeah, actually, that is the, that's number one. Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? It's like the same. It's like where I can get, right? No, where can I get? That is the difference. Where I can get someone to cut my hair. That's what you have to change. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Do you have any other questions? Uh, let's see, Stella, Rodrigo, Alejandra, thank you for being here. The Nady, we have it here. I have, I have problems with, with the letter C. Letter C, this yeah. one? Um, uh, let me check. And three and four. Part three. No, I can't. Abajo. Um, ah, esas son abajo, abajo, las últimas. This ones, part three. Ah, sí, ok, ok. Ya yeah, lo voy one. a ver. Ok, no problem. The, yes, this one is kind of difficult. So, re, sophisticated robots will replace. We are going to study these tenses this week, so no problem. I understand. This one is, I uh, will be used. Number three, you won't need. Number four, you won't believe in and number five will have discovered right so this will be number part three the letter c okay elu thank you for being here diego also do you have any other question about the platform otra alguna otra pregunta de la plataforma another question for from these sections Section A, B, C. Remember that you have until Thursday because this is last week, right? We have, uh, this is last week that we are going to have classes. So you see that everything happened really fast. So you don't have to worry about that, right? So uh, if you have any question or any doubt about this, let me know. Now I'm going to, yes, yes, Ali. 
now this is uh, the net course. Mm -hmm. Do we need to do we need to do the same process like the other uh, education? Yes, I guess that it will be the same, right? The same. Okay, but we we need we, we must wait for the invitation again. Exactly, because... you need to wait for the invitation. Okay. Yes, exactly. And also, I reported the problems that we have uh, last week for these parts, part C and part B, for uh, these sections with the apostrophe that you have problems, right? When you wrote the apostrophe, um, the 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 answer was incorrect. So you have to use this apostrophe, right? To place yes, it I here, did. it was incorrect. So I already report that and they will try to fix it as soon as possible. That's what they told me. So thank you for letting me know about that. And now we are going to finish section four and probably we are going to start section five, the last one. At the end of this week of classes on Thursday, uh, we are going to have a quiz, right? About general information about uh, questions that we have done things that we have studied during these four weeks so we are going to um like review it again right just to check if you have learned a little bit uh, in these four uh, weeks so we are going to review a little bit about this now we have practice ahora vamos a practicar vamos a poner en práctica nuestro lenguaje or our language right the um, english that we have studied right Previously, we were talking or we were studying about uh, gerunds, right? Gerunds and modal verbs, right? And also how to make suggestions, right? With models, gerunds, negative questions, and infinitives. And for example, if I would like to know how to sing better, maybe you could take singing classes. What about practicing at home? Why don't you watch videos on YouTube? And it might be a good idea to start with easy songs. So those uh, were the structures that we were studying last Thursday. And also, do you remember that we check um, a conversation about uh, a person that was trying to help other people uh, through the a program, a radio program? Do you remember that? Yes, Frida. Yes. Frida, exactly. Fix it with Frida, mm -hmm. exactly. So we are going to do something really similar today. We are going to have a conversation. One person will expose a problem. Probably it can be, uh, for example, to learn how to drive, right? How can I learn uh, to drive better, to drive my car? Give me some suggestions, right? And you can give these suggestions, right? With, with infinitives, for example, one option is to take driving lessons. Another option is to ask a friend to teach you, right? Or you can talk about improve your English. Uh, for example, Estella, right? Estella, you are really good with English. Can you give me some suggestions? How can I improve my English, right? And then Estella will give uh, some suggestions, right? Why don't you watch series and movies in English, right? Why don't you make friends online to pra practice? Why don't you hire a private tutor? Also, we have other problems like uh, learn how to cook, um, how to get in shape, how to eat healthier, right? So you just need to remember to use gerunds, infinitive, and also the models, right? With uh, negative questions and also uh, suggestions with models. So this is the information that you had in the platform. We are going to review a little bit of this. This one, it says uh, making suggestions or giving advice. How about, we can use this, right? How about, what about, have you thought about, and then the gerund. Remember that after about, we have to write a gerund, right? I-N-G. How about reading? How about learning? How about knowing or meeting new people, right? Depending on the problem. It might be a good idea also. It's another one, right? It might be a good idea. One thing you could do is, and then we can use an infinitive. Also, maybe you could, and then the base form of the verb, or why don't you, and then the base form of the verb also. So these were some, this is the grammar that we have also in the platform with models plus verbs. Maybe you could take part in a singing group with gerunds. What about joining a running club? 
Have you thought about asking your friends to introduce you around with negative questions? Also, why don't you do some volunteer work with infinitives? One option is to join a club and it might be a good idea to check out the cultural events at the university. Now we have more examples here, right? Um, so we are going to do this, this activity, but we are going to create a conversation with a partner. Try to provide suggestions using the vocabulary using section four. So the things that we studied, right? All the structures, suggestions, vocabulary, all of that. Try to solve one of the following problems. Buying things I don't need, like to be a shopaholic, right? Eating junk food at night, sorry, at night, and being more organized with time. Those are some suggestions, but you can, you can create or you can choose another topic, another problem. So we are going to uh, start, we're going to start practicing right now. I think that somebody wrote that was not available, that it was going to listen just, she was going just to listen to, to the class, I guess it was Sandra. Right, Sandra Patricia, let me see if it is here. Let me see here. It's Rodrigo, Rafael, Eliu. We have Zulma. We have Erasmo, Nady, Diego, Marvin, Rebecca, and Jaime. Yes, Estela, I think she's not here. But we are going to um start working with our classmates we are going to practice this right so we are we are 11 so one person will one group will be uh created from uh, three people three people will work together i'm going to create right now these groups okay if you have any problem um speaking let me know right now Remember, cuando eh, hagan esta conversación entre ustedes, recuerden que tienen alrededor de 10, 15 minutos para crearla, así que si la pueden escribir lo menos posible, traten de practicarla y traten de crearla, traten de improvisar su, su, el, 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 el lenguaje que van a ocupar, ¿verdad? Don't try to write it all of it because it, it will take more time. Just some things, some things is okay, but not all of it. So we are going to start right now. Let me see here. Okay, do you have any questions about this activity? Preguntas acerca de la actividad? No questions? Okay, so we are going right now to create the, the groups. Just let me see where I can get it here. Okay, now I want you to join to all the rooms and start practicing, okay? Ya pueden entrar a las salas y pueden empezar a crear las conversaciones. You will have 15 minutes. Tienen 15 minutos, por favor.
Okay, let me see. Jose is I'm going to assign you to one of your classmates. Rodrigo. Erasmus, are you able to get in? Erasmo? Sandra, well, Sandra won't be able, right? I guess. So I'm going to mobile you with. Yes. Hello. Do you have any questions right now? Yeah, fíjense que eh, yo creí, yo verdad, yo creí que eh, la conversación era con respecto eh, eh, con lo del video que vimos el viernes, uh -huh. que preguntaban sobre algún problema que tuvieran uh -huh. y, y así le iban a sugerir, verdad, qué uh -huh. hacer, verdad. Uh -huh. y, pero los compañeros me dicen aquí que son tres preguntas que vamos a resolver. ¿Cómo es? No, it's, it's, those are just some suggestions. Those are some uh, suggestions. The buying things I don't need, eating junk food, being more organized with time. Esas son sugerencias. Uh, ustedes pueden elegir cualquier problema. Uh, puede ser cómo mejorar el inglés, how to get improved in English, right? Mm -hmm. O puede ser how to eat healthier, cómo comer más saludable, cómo estar a tiempo or ser más responsable, anything. It can be anything. You can create any you want, right? Anything you want. For example, Diego has one problem, and then Sulma gives an advice, and then Sulma has another problem, and then Marvin gives another advice, and that's it. Just create a conversation. Podría ser, se, se me cae el cabello, ¿Qué me, qué me mm -hmm. sugieres algo, verdad? Yes, ¿Algo exactly. So, uh, yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. Anything, Thanks. anything. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. Hola, Luis. Sería entonces eh, que cada uno de nosotros diga algún problema que tengan, diga. Hello, do you have any questions right now? Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, do you have any questions? Preguntas acerca de la conversación? No, no, yo le comentaba a Navy que yo andaba algo perdido porque desde el jueves no, no, no me había con, podido conectar hasta ahora. Entonces mm -hmm. perdí la sesión del jueves y bueno, que no había estado. Entonces hasta ayer logré venir. Y hoy, pues, igual que me iba conectando ya, ya bien tarde, nos mandaron a la, a la sesión, entonces no, no, no sabía lo que se iba a hacer, pero ya me explicó. Okay, perfect. So, Nady, you can help Josué. That's a good thing. We work with partners, so you get up to date. And if, if you have any questions, just let me know, okay? Me manda un mensaje y yo les ayudo. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank perfect. You. Thank you. Bueno, pues, entonces...
para el perro. A, I'm a looking do, a, for a dog food. For a dog food. Do you have any question right now? No. No questions? Okay. No. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, okay perfect. Okay. Entonces, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a, a, ¿Cómo? What about what about is the motor is um, expanding a lot of dust, a lot of uh, humo, a lot of dust, a lot of uh, smoke. A smoke. How? How about if my motor if my motor uh, uh, put in the in the weather a lot of smoke? How can I solve this problem? First, este, first review the okay. se me olvida cómo se dice radiador en inglés. Uh, say radiator if, if not that that word but we are going to learn later radiator say radiator or radiator check the I think. radiator okay okay I will do it uh, how about is my is if the if the oil is leaking in my car, how can I how can I do for fix it? Si, si está botando aceite del motor, mm -hmm. how can I fix it? Mm, a ver, the car have a oil tank. You must see if it sent. Okay, I will do it. Oh, now we change the, the role. You are the. Mm -hmm. We change the role right now. Okay, I am the, the uh, mechanic expert. Uh, uh, I am the owner of the mechanic player, and you are the client. Okay. Hello, my friend. Fix it. Fix your car with Elius, with Elius mechanic. Uh, uh, in this place, we fix every every trouble that you have with your car. Uh, ask something. I am in the telephone right now. I can give some advice to everybody in a way that they can have have uh, minors trouble with with their cars uh i can i wait for people answer me uh ask me about the problem that you usually have with your car okay mr rodrigo what is your problem my problem what is, is your that with you? in my car when i push the as eh, como se llama esto acelerator uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. What happened? The car doesn't, and the motor doesn't receive fuel, fuel. And I push it, but the car doesn't advance. It is the fuel doesn't go to the motor, and I, I don't know what can I do. Oh, what about? If you review the kind of fuel that you put, maybe you put diesel fuel instead, put gasoline fuel. Why don't you try that? I. Tú puedes decir. Mm -hmm. Puedes decir que ya lo hiciste y no es eso. Ah, uh, esa le iba a decir. <laughs> I Tell did me it and 
it doesn't work. I view what time of what kind of fuel the motor use and it doesn't work change the the fuel the type of fuel have you thought have you thought in checking the the small o-ring that that above the accelerator we can, you can find a small ring uh, above debajo del 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 the pedal um if it's, it is disconnected or connected with the with the pedal how have you okay, Erasmus Sandra are you there Erasmo, Sandra. Dos minutos más le voy a dar. Okay, thank you for coming back, Rafael, Mayra, Diego, thank you for coming back.
Okay, did you finish the conversation? Did you finish yes. practicing? Yes. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to practice the conversation about the suggestions and the problems that you had, right? Hopefully, we are going to listen, right? These kind of suggestions, right? With infinitives, with negative questions, with gerunds, and also models, right? That's what you have to try to use and other vocabulary that you learn, right? If you were talking about cars, or if you were talking about, I don't know, any other problem that you created. So I need two volunteers right now, voluntarios, volunteers, to show the, the, the conversation. Dos voluntarios para la conversación. Daniel. Okay, Daniel, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, and you were uh, working with uh, Eliu? Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's listen to your conversation, please. Oops. Are you ready, Daniel? Mm, okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to be, okay. Fix, fix your car with a workshop, a new workshop. Okay. Uh, I am, uh, I am in, the, in this, um, I am giving some advice to people by telephone. Right now, I can solve your problem. I get the problem. If your car is a malfunction, if your car is stopped, if you, and if you want some advice about how to fix your problem, just call me. I can give you some advice. It's free. Take your time. Hello. Good night, Daniel. What is your problem? What is your trouble with your car? Good night. I'm coming here because I have a problem with my car. The problem is that when I stop, sometimes I start the engine, the motor. It doesn't work. I turn it on and it doesn't work. What can I do? How about, how about, uh, if you try the uh, the battery, probably the battery is uh, is over. If you charge your battery, try it and and try it. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't have uh, a new battery or you don't have money. Maybe a neighbor can lend you uh, 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 how to charge unos cables. Uh, to charge your the battery in a way that you can run your car. Try with this. Oh, okay. I didn't know that I need to change the battery when it's slow or charged. I will take it in mind. And it may be. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a good idea. You can try with that. Uh, if, uh, if, if the battery that doesn't start your engine is probably that you put uh, diesel fuel instead of uh, gasoline fuel. How about if you check what what is the the, the fuel that the, your your car has? I check it and it's it is gas gasoline. It's gasoline. Okay. Okay, let's try let's try with the battery and we call later. Okay, another another people who, who need advice to fix his car. Okay, Daniel again, what what is your problem? Hello, my problem is that the my engine oil leaks leaks much. What can I do? Okay, well. This is a problem that that need to that need to visit my workshop because I need I need to check is probably that the that the gasket is a uh, is uh, all and we need to repair. But I can you can visit me in my workshop 
is in the vicinity of uh, San Marcos and I can give a excellent solution and not you're not going to spend a lot of money. It's, it's going to be uh, a cheap trade with me. Please come and visit my, my workshop and you will be, uh, and you will be you happy with the solution that I give you. Okay, we're finished, teacher. Okay, very good, very good conversation. Very good, perfect about uh, the engine of the car and everything. Very good, perfect. Uh, Elio, how do you say uh, cables? How do you say cables? Because you mentioned cables. I don't know how to say it's cables. I don't know. It's like cables, right? C you cables. Can, yeah, okay. cables. Very good, perfect. Uh, but uh, I'll take it in mind. I also I also uh, heard that that phrase, that expression. I'll take it in mind. Es como lo tomar en cuenta, right? But uh, in English is I'll keep it. I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. Very okay. good. And fuel, diesel, it's okay. The gasoline, the problem with the angel or the oil is leaking. Workshop, very good. Very good. And uh, let me see what else. Vicinity. Vicinity is like neighborhood, right? Very good. Very good. Very good vocabulary. And you speak, uh, you spoke a lot. So that was a good presentation. Congratulations, Eliu and Rodrigo Daniel. Now, uh, other two volunteers, please. Otros dos voluntarios. Teacher. Yes, Marvin. Surma, Diego, and me. Okay, Marvin, Diego, <coughs> and Zulma. Okay, perfect. You can begin right now. Okay. Hello, guys. Um, what do you do to suggest to control my hair loss? Sign it's fall out a lot. Let me see, Zuma. I remember that my grandmother used to say that avocado is good for hair loss. You have to apply it at night for a week. That could help you. Maybe. I can try it. Also apply aloe vera to the scalp to prevent hair loss. It is a very good remedy. Uh, it will be good if you incorporate onion into your diet, which also helps prevent hair loss. Well, I have to retire because it's getting late. See you later. Okay, um, it's a good idea. I do it. Okay, bye. Okay, very good, very good. So it was about hair loss, right? Remember, it's hair hair loss, right? Hair loss. Very good. Um, avocado. You need to apply avocado. It's falling a lot. Very good. And when we say I have to retire or I have to go, it's okay, right? I have to go, see you later, that's okay. Perfect, now um, I need two, uh, two other volunteers, another, another people. Alguien más, además de Marvin, Diego y Zulma? Uh, no sé si Rafael quisiera. Rafael, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Rafael yes. and Rebecca, you too, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, Rabbi, Rebecca and Rafael, you can go ahead. Okay, the, our conversation is about we meet in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, hello, Rafael, how are you? Hello, Rebecca. It's nice to see you again. What are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for an ice cream, but I didn't. I didn't find you. Find it. Mm, well, uh, 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 it's what are, what exactly do you want? 
I don't know. Maybe I I could I could try a a brand that employ recommending. Well, maybe you can you you call cook uh your arm full. I know, but I don't have to prepare my own food. It's well, more, it's easier to buy young food. Um, you, but tell you, me. You, you, try, you try cooking your food, it's more healthy uh, because the, the ice food is no, it's no, um, it's no good for your health. You you think about your health. Yes, I could try, but tell me, Rafael, what are you looking for? Well, I I I just looking for my. The the food of of my my dog dog food. Do you have a brand in the specific that you can eat it? Yes, it's it's uh it's um uh, it's um it's doggy for for adult adult dog. But I I don't I don't find it. Well, you can try to explain to your situation or an employer, and then can give you another option is to ask him. You're right. I I I found someone to help me. Thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome. See you later. Okay, it's nice to see you. Bye bye. Okay, we very finished. good. <laughs> very good. Perfect, perfect. Uh, it was a really good conversation. You talk a lot. You use the models also, right? Maybe you could try uh, to prepare your own food. Very good. Perfect. Uh, you can see, you can say also more healthy or healthier also. And um, let's see my dog food right just looking for the dog of my the food of my dog right for my dog food it's okay or the food for my dog right the the food for my dog and adult right adult uh, it's with a u but adult it's okay and also in the previous uh, conversation we uh, somebody said somebody said i have to retire right retire is not it's not retirarse, me tengo que retirar, ¿verdad? De irse, sino que me tengo que, que retirar de jubilarse, ¿verdad? I have to retire es jubilar, jubilación, ¿verdad? Entonces, we, I have to go. It's better if we say that, that expression. I have to go, see you later, right? I have to retire, me tengo que jubilar, ¿verdad? But uh, Rebecca and Rafael, you did it very well. Good pronunciation. Very good flow, very good flow of the conversation. And also I was able to understand your, uh, the conversation, the idea, that is the main point. Perfect. Another, other two participants, please. Volunteers. Alguien más? Ya vimos a Rodrigo, Eliu, Marvin, Diego y Zuma. Rebecca and Rafael. ¿Quién más nos falta? Someone else? ¿Alguien más que quiera participar para la conversation, conversación? Another volunteer? No volunteers? That's it. And the rest didn't prepare the conversation. Let's see, we have Sandra, Josue, Rodrigo, Nady, Myra, 
well, Mayra, I don't know if was able to get into a group. Probably she had problems. Nady, okay, Nady, you were working with? Um, Josue Rivas. Josue Rivas, Hi. okay. Nady <laughs> and Josue Rivas. Okay. Hi, Josue. Uh, how are you? Thank you very much. And you? Um, not very well. I would like to know how to improve my English. Do you know how how can I understand English better? Why don't you watch videos on YouTube? It would be a good idea to start with easy song. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, what's your favorite exercise? Oh, running is my, my favorite way to exercise. It's excellent. And what place would you like to meet? Um, maybe I would like to travel and know Italy. Okay, fantastic. Bye, maybe. Bye, Jose. Holy teacher. Okay, very good. Very good. Very good, Nady and Josue. You did it very well. Um, one question at the end of the conversation to say, what place would you like to meet? Is that, is that the question that you were asking, Josue? Or what place would you like to travel? Uh, what well, uh, and, and what place you to like to meet or why travel? Okay. okay, yes, because meet is like in qué lugar te gustaría que nos yeah. encontráramos, verdad? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, meet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what place would you like to travel? Because she said I would like to travel to Italy, right? So probably you are going to meet in Italy. I thought, uh, but no, it's okay. okay. No, it's okay. okay. It's okay. No problem. We are here to learn. But very good, very good conversation. Also, you use um the questions right the negative questions why don't you watch videos on youtube that was very good perfect and also you talk about the exercises running is my favorite exercise very good perfect another volunteer the last one otros voluntarios o ya no hay another one no more volunteers Okay, perfect. So no more volunteers. We are going to finish here with section four. And tomorrow we are going to see very quickly section five, okay? We are going to review a little bit of um, the information that we have studied also in previous days. And uh, probably you have read this already. Tal, tal vez ya vieron ustedes la plataforma, ya hicieron estos ejercicios. Así que lo vamos a ver rápidamente. Solo vamos a tener unos unos ejemplos. So in this section, we are going to talk about uh, fads, right? Or trends. Fad is like a trend, right? And we are going to talk about past things. And also we are going to talk about the future. We are going to talk about the past and we are going to talk about the future. For example, it says 50 years of fads, 1959. So, for example, in 1959, the first Barbie doll comes on the market. In 1975, disco becomes the latest dance craze. In 1980, millions of Rubik's Cubes are sold. In 1998, Pokemon becomes an overnight sensation. In 2005, the first of four Twilight books is released. And in 2010, the popular TV show Lost comes to a close. So these are trends, things that happened in the past, right? Things that probably some of you have lived or some things that you haven't lived and you're living something different, right? So uh, which of these things from the past do you remember from your country, for example, que estaba de moda hace 50 años, hace 30 años, hace 20 años? What was like a trend, 
like before in the past? Do you remember any of that? Like what was like the music that you used to listen before when you were in school, when you were in high school? Do you remember that? Do you remember I any re of the things that you used to do before? Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, I remember the 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 cue, the cue are uh, when in ninety in nineteen eighty in nineteen eighty mm -hmm. the crew was a, a a sensation that with the people that everybody want to to be assembled and disassemble a queue like like that. Yes, it's correct exactly. Say. Mm -hmm. Yes, like example, like a puzzle, right? Like you were trying to move it from, from left to right. Yes, that's okay. And that was something new when you saw the Rubik cube. That was like a, something new for you, Aliu. Yes, it was it was something new for me. Yes. Uh, uh, also, I remember to the 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 Barbies for for my daughter. Mm -hmm. They want to, they want to have a Barbie because it was a sensation with, with the girls, with the kids. That yeah. every every girl want to have a want to buy want want to receive in, in, in like a gift a Barbie. Yes, exactly. And did you did you buy the Barbies or no? Uh, my sister, my my sister. Uh, my my have uh get a, a gift from from relatives that live in the united states they they brought a a barbie a, a, a big box not a big box they were not so big uh, <laughs> yeah. a box a barbie in a box i remember very well that occasion that that time yes exactly was, they were they were like the boy Yes, it was like a sensation, right? For all the girls that wanted a Barbie, they were very yes. popular, exactly. Yes. Perfect. Somebody else remember something else? Something, another trend in the past that you remember? Algo más, alguien más? Somebody else? Uh, I remember in, in 1970, 70s, mm -hmm. uh, the, the music, uh, music like like the Beaches, um, music of um, of Ava, mm -hmm. and I love um, these songs. It um it was a a big sensation in that time, and I remember. In, in some in some party I I was there. I don't know. Um, I don't remember who who learned me to dance, but I am dancing. <laughs> you were dancing. You were you were dancing disco music. Yeah. Okay, very good. I, I can imagine that. Very good because disco was very popular in the 70s, like ABBA, Bee Gees, and all of those um, like kind of music, right? It's kind of trendy. ABBA actually is, is kind of popular nowadays because they have a like a virtual show and they travel from one country to another country. And that's interesting because they are like holograms. And you're able to watch Ava like they are singing live, and um, and you will be like seeing them like in a concert. So they are still popular, I guess, because uh, their music is really good, right? Ava music is really good. So that's what we are going to talk about. Like, how can we say? How can we express things from the past, right? How can we say that, like in 1975 or uh, like? for at this time or 20 years ago, right? We are going to learn different time expressions, right? About uh, previous things, right? For example, I tomorrow, that will be your homework actually. 
uh, think about something that you used to uh, you used to live before, like music can be music or a toy ride. Now that is kind of uh, Christmas, like this time in December, probably you can think about uh, a toy that uh, someone gave you when you were a child or younger or probably last year and you really liked it or I don't know, you can tell me something from the past, right? Something that you used to like a lot, a series, right? A book, any trend or anything can be useful for tomorrow. And I will give you an example because uh, this this is what I I use I remember from my my trends the trends from my country right where I was a child like everybody was uh, collecting toys like Yolocos from Coca Cola right Tamagotchis were really popular also in the past in the nineties and um, also Game Boys right now today we have a lot of consoles game consoles. But before we used to have Game Boys, Nintendo, Sega, only that. Also, we have Jacks, Chintas in English is Jacks, right? Uh, a lot of girls used to play Jacks. Also, um, marbles, uh, Chivolas is marbles, right? In English, I remember that I used to play marbles with my friends. I was not very good with JoJo's. I remember that a popular uh, brand from JoJo's was Duncan, and also Trumper, right? Uh, a rollerblade. So uh, and also Blackberries, right? When I was younger, also Blackberries were really popular uh, because they had like this screen and a lot of like a keyboard that you can use to write, and they were really wide. Now they, I don't know, probably they don't exist anymore. Probably. So that's what I believe. That's what I that's what I remember. Uh, some things that I remember when I was a child, right? That that I used to like a lot, and I saw that many people used to like it, or so, used to like them. So that's what we are going to talk about tomorrow. Things from the past, things like we are going to learn new expressions to say it. And as a, as a homework, try to think about one thing, right? One thing only that you like, like Elio mentioned before, uh, Barbies also, and or Raphael mentioned the 70s, right? That he, he used to dance disco, right? So that was a really good example. So think about something else for the rest, and we are going to talk about this tomorrow, okay? And also, if you have any questions about the platform, let me know. Algún problema con la plataforma o alguna duda, háganmelo saber. So I will see you tomorrow and have a nice night and take care, okay? Thank you for okay. coming. Okay, have a nice night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.